and a demo for this Ninja Foodie. Thanks to the awesome guys at Ninja. Is it the ultimate kitchen gadget? Is it any good? They say it can pressure cook, tender crisp, air fry, steam, slow cook, saute, bake roast and grill. And also guys, I've got a competition running for this amazing gadget from one of you lucky winners. So stay till the end. Now let's get straight into it. So first things first guys, you guys wanna know what's in the box? Okay guys, so what's included in the box is a pressure lid and you use this when you're using it as a pressure cooker. It quickly tenderizes and cooks ingredients. Also has a pressure release valve which is here as well which easily releases pressure. It comes with a cook and crisp basket as well and it's uh, basically 3.7 litre non-stick ceramic coated basket which is great for like your savouries, uh, for your chicken nuggets, for your chips and your fries and that comes with a detachable diffuser which you just place at the bottom and it can easily be removed or placed on top as well and you can easily wash it as well and it also comes with a reversible rack now if you want to use it as a steamer what you would do is you can steam your vegetables and you can place it in your pot which is inside here this way and if you want to use it as a grill you would place it in your pot inside which is again inside here this way and you can grill like your chicken pieces on there and you can place your wings or your your chicken fillets on here to give it that extra crispness also comes with a recipe inspiration guide and there's some great recipes inside here as well um, and I think that's going to be quite helpful as well so I'm going to go through some of these comes with a ninja foodie instructions booklet as well and also a cooking cheat sheet which helps for first time users how long and what temperatures to cook the food so you know what buttons to press and a crisping lid which is permanently attached and also it comes with a non-stick pot that will always have to stay in there every time you use it. It's easy to clean as well. So guys, let's get straight into it. I'm going to show you how we're going to make uh, some samosas and some chips. So what we're going to do is we're going to air fry or air crisp our chips. So we need to use this basket for it. Now that I'm just going to place in the pot like this. And then I'm just going to be using just a small amount just to show you guys so I've got some frozen chips here. In they go. And then you can just mix it around like this. Then what we need is we need the air crisping lid. So we're just going to close that like this. And now what we're going to do is just power that on. So we just press that button there. And that's already set on 200 de degrees. Um, you can, of course, um, put the temperature down or up. And the good thing about this is whatever lid that you have on here, it will only give you those options. So if I put the pressure lid on, it will give me the pressure, the steam, the slow cook, uh, the sea and the saute options um, on the control panel here. And as we've got the crisping lid on, it will just give us the air crisp, bake roast and the grill options. So now I am just going to lower that to about 190 and the time because i've only got a few in there we are just going to go down and set that to about 12 minutes and then we are going to start so once you press the start button you'll see a red light light up here and also i don't know if you can hear it but it's got it's very quiet um there's not a lot of noise that comes out from here um and also if you want to just check on check on it to see what's happening it's so easy you just have to lift it up like this, automatically everything will pause. Um, so you don't even need to press any buttons or anything. And then you can just check on the ingredients if you want to add anything to it. So, um, you know, everything here is great, that's fine. I'm just going to close that again. And what will happen, it will just continue from where it stopped. So guys, the seconds, we've got about five seconds left now. Uh, so it's almost done. And then I'll show you what they look like. And then once it's done, you'll get a message here to say cool. And there you go, guys. It's done. So you've got a little message here to say off. I don't know if you've seen that. Um, and then we're just going to open that. They look great. I'm just going to show you. Um, it is very hot. And also just want to... Um, so also I want to mention to you guys um, that there, there's coil in there um, that is really, really hot. So make sure, you know, you don't touch that. 
this basket is also very hot actually everything is hot so you need to be very careful so so you know use some oven gloves um, and as you can see the chips are looking really really nice um, they were done like within about 15 minutes so I find that it, it does cook quicker as well um, so we're just going to take them out they look really crispy okay guys so the next thing I'm going to show you is some samosas um, so I've got a few samosas here and we're gonna place them in the basket as we did with the chips in they go and then what I'm also going to do is you don't have to but I'd like to just spray a little bit of cooking oil so just a bit of cooking oil and then again we need our crisping lid for this so we're just going to close this we're just going to power that on and we're just going to click on air crisp and that's set on 200 degrees I'm just going to set it down to about 170 degrees and the timer to about 10 minutes and then we are going to press start. Now once you press start you'll see a little red light here so we know that the air, crisp, air fry crisper is on. So guys we've got about 10 seconds on that and then we'll take a look. that's done and we'll just flip the lid open and there you go and we'll just show you and it's done and I'm just gonna take them out as well but again it's very hot so let me just get uh, get a cloth and also finally guys I'm just gonna show you um, chicken and cheese pastries as well so in they go in the basket um, and then we're just going to close the lid. We're going to power that on, bake and roast function. Temperature down to 170. And we're just going to bake these pies about 12 minutes. And of course we can always check on that. And if it needs more time, then I can always um, adjust the timing. And then we're just going to press the start button. Okay, so we've got about 10 seconds and let's let that cool and let's just take a look on that. Okay, so they look really good and that didn't take so long um, and they, it, they've nicely risen as well. I'm just going to show you the bottom as well guys and there you go, it's nice and brown, golden brown and it's nice and crisp as well. So it's uh, cooked properly and it's not raw. So obviously this is an honest review, so let's quickly go through the pros and cons. Just bear in mind the size of it, so decide where you'd like to place it in your kitchen. It's not something that you want to move around. Um, if you do want to move it around, of course it does have handles. And also the lid goes up and it's fixed to the device, so put it somewhere in an open place. And also, I think, I mean, this is minor because just think about how many other gadgets is just built in one. So it gives you that space, you know, on your worktop instead of having all different devices it's all in one so I quite like that about that about this I mean these are just minor things and just think about how many devices this replaces so it's no big deal and also I wish that the power label power label and also I wish the power cable was slightly longer but then again it's not a big deal because I'm sure you know I've got an extension wire and I'm sure most of you have as well so it's no biggie there you go guys I really hope you enjoyed this video quick review and demo on the ninja foodie for more information I've linked it up in the description below so make sure you check it out don't go away guys as you know I've got a competition going on for one of these great gadgets so that's going to be on YouTube and Instagram and I'm just going to go through the rules with you. To enter my Ninja Foodie competition, of course you've got to be subscribed to this channel, to my channel. Um, you've got to like this video and also leave me a comment below why you should win this. And for extra chances of winning, click on the competition link which is in the description below. And also head over to my Instagram to have an extra chance there. All the best guys and good luck.